Hello everybody, this is Mike Fauché. I wanted to do a follow-up video on the performance of the um, 951 QNAP that I did recently did a review on. Uh, primarily wanted to discuss the performance against the 10 gigabit. Um, I know that's, you know, up until recently that's been fairly expensive to get into. And I think now that with the a lot of these NAS units coming in with built-in 10 gigabit NICs um, inside of them, I think the uh, landscape is changing a little bit, so making it a little bit more palatable to implement at least on a limited basis uh, in your home network or lab network. So I've set up a few tests to kind of give you an idea of what the real world performance is, because obviously the numbers are one thing, the performance in real life is a different thing. So. Um, I wanted to give you an example, uh, a few examples of the real life performance. So we'll do um, several tests here. Um, and what I've set up here is kind of a, uh, a multiple phase test. So I'm going to, I copied a 30 gig movie, um, approximately 30 gig. I've copied a 24 gig movie onto my Samsung 960 Pro um, just to kind of alleviate some of the bottleneck. Um, the system I'm using is my primary system has a Intel compatible 10 gigabit NIC um, which is proven to be probably one of the faster units that you can get for a budget price. Um, so I'm using that as the basis to actually copy the files to these individual uh, NAS units so you can kind of get an idea of um, not only the real life performance but also the type of drives that you can put in it and kind of get an idea of what the difference is. So the first test I want to do is actually copy this movie here and we'll copy that guy and um, we're going to copy it to the new QNAP um, TBS 951X. Um, this is using the native 10 gig port and um, using it to just a straight test folder on the RAID 5. So let's see what happens when we paste this. And you can kind of see um, that it's significantly faster than 1 gigabit, but it's obviously not. Um, maxing out the full potential of the interface and this is largely due to um, the drives I'm using um, uh, the Western Digital um, red drives the standard 5400 version not the pro version um, and they are a little bit of a limiter but you can kinda get an idea of still significant performance gain over one gigabit uh, roughly two and a half to three times depending on what you're copying. As you can see from the copy, it's very consistent, very stable, um, and it maintains this performance pretty much across the board. Okay, so that's kind of, again, that's demonstrating to a RAID 5 array using Western Digital Reds. So the next thing I'd like to demonstrate is on the same unit, this is still on the 951, but this is um, copying to a um, RAID 5 using SSDs. So you'll see as we copy that the performance is significantly faster. Um, again, this is all this is demonstrating basically is that um, we're able to utilize more of the bandwidth and we're no longer limited by some slower, you know, red drives. And again, I'm not. I have nothing but admiration for the red drives and will continue to use them, 
but you have to kind of pick and choose what type of drives you want to use depending on what your use case is. I've used SSDs on the 951 for you know video editing and things like that so this gives me a lot more performance but my general storage is still used to on the the uh, red drives. So again you can see that it was incredibly fast and, and continued to maintain the same level of performance. Um, just as a comparison what I want to do though, as the third uh, part of this test is to actually show you on a different NAS completely um, this is actually going to a um, it's a TS 453B uh, and that's also a QNAP unit um, it doesn't have a native 10 gigabit it has an external or a PCI Express version um, in other words an add-on card that you plug in to it get the 10 gigabit port out of it so I'm going to show you the difference um, using the same type of hard drive you'll get an idea of the difference um, between units and you're going to find that this one probably hovers right around the same um, same performance as the 951. It's slightly faster because um, the dedicated NIC card or the, the, the uh, dedicated NIC card in the 951 is probably not quite the same performance as the um, the external card being used in the 453 but still you know you're, you're still talking significantly faster than one gigabit performance again very consistent very consistent throughput And there you go. So hovering right around the 390 megabits per second, megabytes per second range. Uh, again, slightly faster than the uh, 951X um, using the native, um, using the red drives. Now, one thing to keep in mind is again, these units in terms of performance are actually very comparable. Um, you do see a significant difference in speed. Uh, primarily because of the amount of drives that are on the RAID. So um, you get a slightly different performance with more drives on the RAID. So then, and, the, and the 453 has more drives. Um, it actually uses four drives um, that have been loaded versus the three, three drives that are on the 951. So you'll see a slight difference in performance because of that. Um, it's pretty obvious though the um, the 951 can hold its own when you've got some fast drives in there or when you've got you know a larger array or in my case um, going to the SSDs so you're gonna see an overall you know excellent performance against both of these units personally I find the in the testing that I've done I find the uh, 951X to be slightly faster and just a better unit overall um, and I like the idea of having the inherent built-in NIC versus trying to stuff an, an extra card in there it's more economical um, and it's one less thing to, to mess around with anyway the one last thing I wanted to show you um, to kind of give you an idea to put some closure to the performance and have a comparison is to kind of show you what happens when you copy from um, my uh, main system to another computer that has also a 10 gigabit NIC to give you a, a comparison uh, in terms of performance as compared to the NAS unit.
Okay, so let's now copy that same file over to another server that I have that has a 10 gigabit ASUS NIC in there and you can see the difference. And again, you'll, you'll notice that um, the performance is about the same. Um, you know, it all hovers between 300 and 400 depending on what you're copying to. This particular server um, has um, approximately seven of the uh, Western Digital red drives in a RAID 5. So it's, it's, um, it shouldn't be bottlenecked by any terms of drive performance. It's going to max out pretty much against the, the built-in NIC. Now what you'll see with this one is it taps out quite a bit. Um, the uh, ASUS NIC is not able to copy consistently like you're seeing with the QNAP or with the Intel NIC. Um, it's still overall significantly faster, but with the overhead of the, of the server and with the um, probably less than ideal NIC, the performance tanks significantly. So the moral of the story is not to really demonstrate how bad the ASUS NIC is as much as the different, as much as the performance of the NAS units, the QNAP NAS units are, you know, significantly faster and maintain, you know, a nice consistent throughput. So whether you're copying to hard drives or the faster SSDs, you're going to be happy with the performance gain um, to the point where you can really, um, not only will you see the difference, but you'll also get the feel for, you know, almost being able to edit and, and do things right on the NAS unit without having any local files, which is really beneficial, you know, depending on the size files you're working on. Anyway, I hope this um, answers some of the mystery and shows you some of the uh, differences in, in copy performance um, and, you know, gives you a better idea that the performance of these QNAP NAS units is very, very good. And I think especially with the, the advent of 10 gigabit, you know, being affordable or getting to be affordable, um, you know, you'll be very happy with the outcome. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, don't forget to subscribe and post your questions if you have any. If there's any additional testing you'd like me to do, let me know.